Welcome to my channel where we discuss business. It's all about business, startups, and maintaining of this, the lifelong of the business. In this video, I am going to discuss how to grow your clothing brand, your clothing business, or how to scale, please take note, how to scale your clothing business from where you are to where you want it to be today. Please, I will, before I go deep, I will ask you to subscribe, share, click on the notification button so that we we'll have uh, more members in this community. Now, it is quite unfortunate that most business owners don't know the difference between scaling and growth in business. So before I go deep, I would like to explain what is growth in business and what is scaling in business. If your product line is A, and you are making good money from A, that product line, and tomorrow you decide to introduce a different product line or a complementary product line, that is growth. Why? There is a system for the product A you are working on already, or you have been selling for already, isn't it? You have a system, you have a marketing system, you have everything that has made the product A successful. Now, tomorrow, you feel, oh, product A has established. Let me go to product B. Now, product B will interest forming a new system, creating new marketing team, creating new websites, doing a different marketing approach entirely. That is good. That is where many of you fail. Thinking, ah, I have, I have grown or I have expanded and still I'm not making it. That is expanding team. Not that growth is bad. If you put your homework very well, you can grow to any level you want. But in business, we are talking of scaling now, how to scale your business. Now, it's quite unfortunate that most people don't know why they scale. They don't understand the reason to scale. Really, they want to scale. But ask them, why do you want to scale? Some will say, I just want to increase my revenue. But is that the main reason to scale? Do you know that you better scale so that your identity, your brand will be more known, your brand will get to more people? These two different things. You can scale for money. You can add the prices of your goods and people that love it will buy. Yes, you have scaled or you, you, you have scaled financially in that business. But how many people will get to your know your business? So some will say, I want to scale so that my brand will be known to many and know that many means money. So the major reason why a business should scale is for your brand to even get to the unborn generation. You can add technology into your marketing system. You can add, you can expand your infrastructure. Your infrastructure should be a, a, an identity for your products. So that is the reason some of you, or the best reason why businesses should scale. Now back to scaling, what is scaling? Scaling is optimizing the existing business structure. Optimizing existing business structure without spending, without much without much expenditure attached to it. That is scaling. But why do many people fail when they want to scale? Now, because most of you don't have data. Scaling is data-driven in business. Scaling is data-driven. Assuming you have a website, you must know the statistics of number of people that come to your website. How many of them buys? How many of them get along the way, does half the cart and leave? How do you contact them back? That is the email marketing structure. Do you have lead capturing system? This data, this information, assuming you are on Facebook, social media, those social media has insights. How do you read those insights? It is understanding those insights will guide you to know 
the angle exactly how to optimize what you are doing if it is social media do you need more content or do you need more engagement with your followers remember scaling is optimizing on existing market structure so what are you what do you want to uh, from the data on your palms that is with that will determine where you want to go from there on how to optimize your marketing structure how is it now if it is about building a structure or making more structure that means you have to look at your marketing marketing funnel how do you convert your visitors to paying customers how many emails do you send before you have the response you want we want how do you build customer relationship because as i keep saying this is a system it's a system an existing system so you must analyze all this how do you bring people to your shop, either online or offline? That's your traffic source. If you have one traffic source, do you need to scale your ad revenue? If you need to scale your ad revenue, how? what is the quality of that traffic? Now, what is the quality is how many out of 100, 200 people that visit your site via the traffic source, how many buy? Remember. Is all about principle. Business is all about principle. Scaling is all about principle. But I just wanted to understand that you can't scale without having basic data or facts in your palms. I have a friend that makes up to $10 million monthly, a yearly, in his business. But his net profit is no more than two to $3,000. Do you see that? Yes, the revenue is coming. But because he has no data it was when he was trying to grow not even scale that was when the analysis came it dawned on him that all this he is doing he has just little out of the whole money that is coming in that case he has to re regulate his expenses he has to restructure on what he has he has to watch on he has to study other traffic sources because he has so many traffic sources to the site which one convert and which one doesn't convert then he discarded all those one that doesn't convert if you don't have data or if you're not data driven you cannot scale if you don't know where the strength your strength is in the business you cannot scale you must know where the customers come from if you have multiple sources of customers uh, uh, to your shop which one converts most then you discard the rest what are the expenses you do and what does it reflect in the business you analyze all the ways of your, this uh, this thing the all the ways of expenses look at the one that has more impact on the business positively then you discard other ones this is how you will scale in that case your revenue will increase in that case, you have more money. Please subscribe to my channel. Share if you're understanding what I'm saying. Or if you are seeing sense of what I'm doing, please share. Comment. Let us grow together. Then, finally, there is one big reason why business fell. There is one big reason why scaling may not work now. Yes, you may want to scale. But most people have tried to scale and that causes the flop of their business. What is that? Watch the video. Click on the link above. You watch the video. How businesses, why businesses fail. One big reason why businesses fail or why businesses collapse at the verge of scaling. I would suggest you click and watch and you understand why you are scaling is at risk and how to make it flow without any hitches or flow seamlessly. If you enjoy my video, please, I suggest you comment, subscribe, share. Let's grow this community together. Thank you for watching and hope to get positive feedback as what this has helped you achieve in 
growing or scaling your business. Thank you.